Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, um, we're basically going to Portugal. We're gonna go visit the factory that I produce all my clothes at. So I thought, you know what? Why not take you guys on a little trip and let's go to Portugal. I'll see you guys at the airport. I know I said I would uh, see you guys at the airport. I'm at the airport now and I just realized that every single fucking travel vlog has the airport in it. No one cares anymore. So instead, I'll just see you guys in Portugal. We have made, we fly in business class, baby. Ruin air. <laughs> So we are at the factory now. Last time I went to Portugal, maybe like 25 degrees in December last year, but now it's just raining and it's cold. I want to show you guys like the factory where stuff is made. Then when we get back to the hotel, I'll kind of go over why I produce stuff in Portugal and not necessarily other countries. So welcome to my crib. Welcome to the factory tour. Wow, wow, it's a very nice. Yeah, this is basically where all the trousers we sell are made, all the corduroy stuff. It's kind of noisy. I think there is around 20 people working here, all like sewing and stuff. And then you've got cutting boards, we've got all the patterns on. I've never sewn a shirt, I can't sew for shit. So it's interesting for me to go somewhere like this, see where stuff is made, you know, have a better connection to your factory instead of just over the phone or whatever. We probably visit this place twice a year just to kind of see how everything goes, see the whole process. Most stuff here is made in like white and it'll be garment dyed but then some stuff is obviously made in other colors. But for example, to make one of the rowing shirts, I think I've got six different people working on one shirt. So someone will do the pockets, someone will do the hems, the sleeves and whatnot. They make probably 75 in a day. So yeah, it's kind of interesting to see how it all comes together, who works on the stuff. Just see all the, the whole process. I think that's what's really interesting. Just finished our meeting. So basically we just went over all the corduroy shirt stuff. We've gone over all the stuff like budget, pricing, whatnot. And then we're also working on next election already. So we've kind of planned some samples to come. Just like logistics, make sure everything's on track. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this factory. I just want to give you guys a, a look on insight into where stuff is made because often it's like, okay, cool corduroy shirt, whatever. But if you can see where it's made and who makes it, makes it a bit more personal for me, I think. Makes me more interested in it. And it's really fulfilling to see, to, to see it go from like scratch where it starts and then to see the final product. I feel like that's very rewarding. But we are finished now at this factory. We're gonna go to another factory, which is where we produce all our sweatshirts, hoodies and t-shirts. I'm literally here for today, which is Tuesday, and then I'll go home tomorrow. So it's literally just a day trip. Yeah, this is Liam's favorite. Her voice is good. That was the first factory. And I'm quite sure this is where they used to do acne jeans. Back when it was called acne jeans and not acne studios. So, you know, it's, it's bomb. It's good quality. We just finished the meeting. Yeah, <laughs> everyone is laughing at me now. <laughs> we just finished the meeting now with the factory who makes all our sweatshirts and hoodies and t-shirts. I would give you guys a little tour, but it's like six o'clock and everyone's gone home from the day. As you can see, they've got fabric there and then at the back is where they'll sew all the stuff. I guess it's not that interesting when it's, when it's dark. Long day, long factory day. Trying to go home, sleep. I've had too much coffee, so I got the shits, but you know. It literally looks like my coming out video or like my confession video or I'm sorry YouTube I fucked up but um yesterday I think I just cut off the footage like after the factory visit the last one we have a dinner with the factory owner I got a bit drunk and then just cut it off but the reason why we make all our shit <laughs> But the reason why we make all of our stuff in Portugal is because you're able to have this connection with the factory owners. You know exactly where your money is going. You know, it's always going to be good quality. We could save a lot of money going somewhere like Bangladesh or China or somewhere else. But I don't think I'd feel comfortable doing that. Like I want to be able to go to a factory fairly easily. So that's why we always make all our stuff in Portugal. And it's also nice like being able to say made in Portugal, a country that makes a lot of really cool stuff. I think it just brings that kind of trust in the quality. Hopefully you guys also appreciate the quality and all the finishing but yeah that is our factory trip i'm gonna cut the video off now and then the rest of this video is going to be vlog footage from when we shot the lookbook so we went to the south of england to shoot a lookbook instead of me making a separate video i thought you know what i'll just drop it at the end of this video so that's it and let's cut to the other one see ya you fat
Thanks, dude. So am I. I'm loving it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. It's not a road trip if you don't have McDonald's. I'm actually healthy today. Carrot cake. It's got carrots in it, so it's healthy. Hello, fuego. Arrived on location, which is literally in the middle of fucking nowhere. But we've got our own boat and we've got our own log cabin. Oh my god! This is gonna be the best, the best two days of my life. But yeah, this place is fucking, fucking beautiful, mate. Back here, you've got like, wait. Back here, you've got like a walkway. I need to learn how to do this. You've got a walkway going from. Wow, this is really disappointing here to here and then we're gonna be shooting around this area i'm really sorry to see how it turns out like surroundings are beautiful should be a blast if not then i'm not paying anyone on set yeah that's some real content don't watch don't bro. give him away or don't give him all the secrets how much do we pay you not enough, mate. <laughs> yeah, very casual. Not a big team. Just some people out enjoying the good English countryside. Hopefully, it turns out really well. Hopefully, you guys like it. You know? Bro, you're retarded. Now, do it the other way. You're actually yeah, retarded. You. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. That's impressive. Anyways, as I was saying, we are currently shooting our second look. A little bit of boat action. You come up from down here, walk up here, and then you go, what? And you go, wow. Like, this is actually dream location. And Rory, not so professional rower. Maddie, being a model. But yeah, inside, little house tour. One couch, one chair. Got a little oven here. I swear that's not called an oven. We've got like a fireplace, that's the one. In here, bathtub, sink, living room. Cute little mace on it. So you've got two sleeping up here. Obviously Elliot sleeping on a couch. And then in here is the bedroom. Welcome to my crib. This is where the magic happens. So you can say when you came here, you locked in. And then when you leave, you lock out. Bottom. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm a vlogger now. That's it. I gotta stop fucking around, wasting time. You know, I'm on, I'm on job. I'm on my own job, but it's fine. All right. Right, Jozza. Oh. I fucking hate being a model. Shit is so whack. Well, the clothing. Yeah. Yeah, the clothing fucking sucks. I wish we made good clothing. That'd be so nice. Like, imagine if we actually made much, good quality clothing instead of this merch. <laughs> to a fly. Instead, this is just some shitty Magnus Running merch. It's all Gildan. Yeah, how to fuck up your lookbook. Hard one. <laughs> Smile. Gaddy. <laughs> Day one of shooting, great success. Hopefully we've got some good shots. Jesus, classic. Cloud, cloud hungry. So good. Day one is done. And then tomorrow, hopefully it's gonna be more sunshine. Fingers crossed. I didn't get some ladies tonight! You can do the shed challenge, so come check it out. Yep. Smell it. Honestly, go inside, smell it. Imagine that, waking up every morning with a freshly cooked sausage in your hand, enjoying nature. Mmm, life is good. <laughs> Whoa, it's fucking muddy. Shit. Get the shit on his toes. Ew. Mm. So I, got, I don't have lenses in. What the fuck are you doing? 
Um, I did a flip, and Maddie didn't record it, and I'm not doing it again. So yeah, you are. Go ahead. Your loss. Go ahead. He didn't do a flip. Yeah, it's all lies. He didn't do a flip. Extreme sports montage. Rory, no. did you get my flip on video? No. Fuck off. He didn't do a flip. I got the first one off. Oh my god! <laughs> Just before you guys get all up in my nuts, um, I hit the phone. I didn't hit Maddie. Let's get back to the video. Get him! Bitch! <laughs> Sometimes you just get caught, baby. Nice one, Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> oh my god! That's I bet you got cheating. that. You missed the flip. <laughs> flip, but she gets that. My girlfriend called me cheating. Yeah, as you can see, she's really having a hard time, a bit of in despair, but you know, YOLO, carpe, carpe diem. Someone who is m just more savage than everyone else. Don't do drugs, kids. Do good ape fruits. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the vlog for this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing I guess it's like the behind the scenes of the shoot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. And peace.